I'm Troy Kirby with my Edmonds News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. The House debated in gross second substitute House Bill 1099, which addresses the state's climate change response through updates to the state's comprehensive planning framework. The bill passed the House 5641, moving on to the Senate for consideration. What this policy does is require the 10 largest cities or in ca- the 10 largest counties and the cities within them to have um, grease, greenhouse gas emission goals uh, provided off of a menu pr- um, that will be um, developed by the Department of Commerce. Those cities asked for this process. And so what they'll have is a menu of items that they can choose from to meet those goals. This is a case of population deniers because people will come in and say, no, you're not going to have that much growth. Your, your growth projections are way over. And so you need to, to uh, you can't expand the urban growth boundary as much as you want to. Well, the fact is those people still come. And now instead of putting eight homes per acre inside the urban growth boundary, you end up with people going outside the urban growth boundary and putting it on a two acre lot or a five acre lot. And I guarantee you that takes a lot more acreage. This comprehensive plan is an important uh, measure so that we can get to these goals to plan, in fact, for the future generation to be able to have the beauty and the great green planet that we all want to achieve in our society and our communities and for our future. I talked to a local uh, designer. It's added thirty dollars to $40,000 of cost to your average two to three bedroom single family home. This is going to add even more cost and it won't be a market failure because the market is out there doing what markets do. It's going to be a failure because of this body's passage of this bill. This bill is taking seriously something that we know is already affecting our communities and is only going to get worse if we are not ready. This is about do we pay a little bit now to be ready or do we ignore the problem as we have been doing for decades already until it is too late? This is about taking problems seriously before it's too late because it will cost us less, it will build better communities and it will save lives. I'll be thinking about the fact that Snoqualmie Pass has more snow due to the cold temperatures this year than than it has in the last 10 years. I'll be thinking about Mount Rainier that has the highest snow levels that has had since 1920 or the sixth highest snow levels that has had since we've started uh, recording in 1927 due to the cold temperatures. Our our cities and our counties, our local governments are where the impacts of climate change will be felt first. And they're also um, some of our strongest and most valuable allies in addressing uh, the challenge of reducing our greenhouse gas emission. We do not have a good track record in the scientific community about predicting uh, future uh, climate predictions uh, for regions or the planet for that matter. We're, we're not very good at it. When I talk to my neighbors about land use and the need for greater density, I tell them that I can walk to 10 breweries from my neighborhood, three with small children in tow. And I love this. I love being able to see my neighbors. I understand not everyone wants to live that way. And I would say that one of the best assurances that they can continue to live in rural areas and we can steward their resources It's making it possible for more people to live in my neighborhood. And you know, you look at the impact that Growth Management Act has had on our climate and on our environment, besides transportation emissions, it has created a dense built environment space that creates a heat absorbing area along the Pacific Ocean that changes the climatic patterns across our entire continent. The other thing that's made this such an angry debate is we don't get to see each other in in any meaningful way. This is an example of what's happening in our society because we, we can't be close to each other. We can't share a meal. We can't have a fist bump or an elbow bump or whatever would be most safe. And it's another reason why we cannot allow this to be our status quo. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by My Edmonds News, covering the 2021 legislative session.